Whenever you've had a motorcycle for 15 years, more years, I've had motorcycles for 44 years. When you've had them for a long time, they either grow on you and seem to get better and better with time, or you're trying to find things you don't like about them and you want to dump them and trade them in and sell them and divorce yourself from the whole thing and get something else. Well, 15 years ago, I got this bike. It was Rob's bike originally, a family bike. And it has just grown on me. I've enjoyed riding every one of those years, even when Rob owned the bike. And it's gotten better with age. And maybe, unlike me, who hasn't gotten better with age, you can watch this in 4K, adjust your device. And we're at the part of the year where it's really getting hot. And we try to get out. The way we deal with it is get out on the road early and get back early. And make sure Karen's got a pitcher of iced tea when we get back. And one more little thing that helps me out is on these really hot days, stay hydrated. It's really stay hydrated. I always carry one of those small bottles of water with me. At, at the temperature it is now, got to stay hydrated. But I got to get the bike pre-flighted and get out of here. Everybody I know has a different way of dealing with hot weather. Some people have uh, various forms of summer riding gear, which I have too, of course. But... There's one thing that's always the same, no matter what, what you do to stay cool. Getting out early in the morning is so important. I like to get out as early as I possibly can without disrupting the family. I always like to get the bike pre-flighted. Even if I do it before breakfast, it doesn't even matter. I want to get the bike pre-flighted every time I ride it. I like to take care of the chores around the yard. before I, When I come back, I'm going to be hot and tired and dehydrated. And maybe the fish are dehydrated too, I don't know. But anyway, taking care of all the chores, making sure Karen gave me the final weather report, checking all the flowers, make sure the bees are doing what they're supposed to do. And then it's enjoyable and it's fun to get out on the open road on any bike. Over the course of my life, uh, about 60 years of involvement, more than 60 years with motorcycles, I've been interested in drag racing, road racing, had so many dirt bikes I can't count them, street bikes, a few touring bikes in between. And what happens is each one of them has something unique about it that you remember it. But this bike does so many things well, I call it a keeper. It's just a bike that you can do a lot of stuff on if you i wonder if you put dirt bike tires if you could even go off road with it it's like i don't know how to explain it. it's a it's an all-weather fighter and i really like it and at this point in my life going to be 79 years old very soon having fun is job one and having a bike that doesn't break, that's reliable, that gets good mileage, doesn't eat the tires up every couple of months, it, it this bike does all those things well. And I, I've, named, I've nicknamed it the all-weather fighter or uh, whatever you want to, <laughs> universal soldier. It does so many things well. That's what it's got going for it. And you can get out there and go through the gears at full RPM. It's got the sound of an Indy car at high RPM. Then when you have to go down into uh, like a populated area where we go through, it's nice and quiet. And when I restored it, I repainted all the black with Bentley Black. And whether you go to a track day or you go to the drag races or you go here, there, or everywhere, or you just want to have long street rides up to Lake George or be like Jose, drive up to Vermont 
And like my friend Jimmy jumps on his gold wing and the next thing you know he's in California. Well, this bike, I'm not sure it doesn't do all of those things well. I haven't been able to put it to the test, but I have a feeling it is a very comfortable bike. That seat is wonderful. And it would be fine on any long trip. And a lot of times you buy a single purpose focused bike and you're very disappointed because it's not comfortable to ride and you can't go on really on any long trips. And one of the real good memories I have is of Pocono when we took this bike to a track day and everybody that was there was looking at it and saying they were shocked how good it was. And we are in the middle of testing the Michelin 6 tires on two different bikes on the MT-09 and this one too. They seem to be wearing better than I expected but we won't know until the end. Being honest, I have ridden with so many people with much bigger displacement bikes, more focused track day type of bikes, and every time at the end of the ride, we, we sit around having a bagel or something, and the first thing they always say is, I didn't know the bike was that good. It, it's only a 650, and they're shocked at how good it is, because it really is an all-weather fighter. It really does an awful lot of things very, very well. During the 500 hour restoration I did on this bike, I and I didn't take the exhaust system off the bike, I did it while the front wheel was off the bike. Made it a lot easier than trying to polish that. The fairings come right off, on and off very, very easily, but once you have the front wheel off the bike, it's very easy to get in it, even on an R1 or on any bike, really. It's a good trick that when you're changing your front tire or you have the front wheel off, if you're gonna polish it, polish it then, good tip. And I've ridden several SV650s. This bike is very much like them. And the SV650, of course, is one of the top rated bikes of all time. This bike is a little bit of a sleeper, though. You don't expect it to be that good. Now, I always get comments from people that they look at the bike and they think it's uh, it's some kind of custom bodywork or something. This is the bodywork that that came with it, 09 Ninja. I like the way the blinkers are integrated into the fairing. The running lights, really, to me, they look very cool. And a lot of the styling cues of the bike, once you once you I repainted it, I was really shocked how good it looked. And where this bike is really in its own element. And it's so happy on the back roads. These back roads that we ride in, the bike is just made for that kind of environment. And always on my bucket list for, for pretty much all my bikes, getting a quick shifter for this bike. If I can ever get a plug and play quick shifter, that would add a little more fun, make it a lot more like the MT-09, that quick shifter on the MT-09 is great. And as I said before, at this point in my life, having fun is job one, going on these nice relaxing rides, 
in an area of the world where it is a lot of elevation changes, a lot of twisties, very, very low traffic, and even lower law enforcement, it makes for a wonderful day. And that's how I get my exercise and try to stay in shape. And this bike, to me, is, is better than a gym membership. <laughs> a lot better. It's turned out to be an exceptional day and it's time to get on route 80 and get back to the farm see how karen's doing and i'm ready for that big big gallon jug of iced tea i'm ready care back from a beautiful ride I just don't know how it could get any better than this the iced tea is being made as I speak the fish haven't jumped out of the pond and this bike after 15 years is still a lot of fun I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button if you did, and thank you so much for watching.